Howdy folks, coming at you live August 3rd. Uh, the feel like temperature out here is about 89. And anytime it's below 90 in August in Alabama, that's real rare. Uh, especially at 2, 3 in the afternoon. I done put up a little bit of a fortress around my melons. And in my mind, that's going to keep deer and coyote out uh, just by that color. You know, red means danger. So once they walk up here and see that red tape and read uh, read that writing, that's going to make them want to turn around and go back toward the woods. Uh, any deer or coyote surely... Uh, by now would be able to identify the signs you know what i'm saying but in all honesty we've got a really nice looking patch going uh got some uh moon and stars going we also got the desert king variant the one i like to call the desert star it is a moon and star desert king cross uh they're looking real right but they're not ripe you feel me we still got a uh, probably a week or two before we pick one uh you look out here and you see these big old melons that weigh 20 or 30 pounds and you say well i want to get in here and get me one of them they looking right and they're close but uh as you can see this tendril right here that's the closest one to the stem, the main stem. As long as that thing is still green like that, it's not ripe, it's still growing. Now every once in a while they'll turn brown and still not be ripe. That's when you gotta go to your tried and true methods. Uh, sometimes I'll pick them up but it, without damaging the vine or pulling it off. And then sometimes I'll feel the feel of it. And if it's still smooth, it ain't ripe yet. It'll have a rough texture when it's ripe. Uh, another way of doing it, if you're still not sure, which I don't like doing it unless I'm really going for um, broke, is you can mash down with a little bit of force. And if you hear a crunching noise, it's, it's probably ripe. But I don't advise doing that because it can uh, mess the melon up. Now this one right here, it feels a little rough. And it is getting pretty big. But I still don't think it's ripe. It still needs probably another few days. You could pick it and eat it. But it wouldn't have that, that super sweet flavor. And uh, we're going to give it a few more days. But I got us a a little bit of a barricade out here and hopefully that'll deter some of the varmints but hope everybody's having a blessed day hope everybody's doing well staying healthy we just gotta stick together and it'll all work out peace <laughs> 